my lovelies welcome back to my channel and it's nice to have you here um, today I'm going to be continuing the inspirational women series with another Beyonce um, photo shoot amazing smoky eye purple scarves um, just very moody very very pretty uh, photo um, now it's only one photo and I'm going to recreate it as best I can with the makeup as well as the tickle. So, so far all I've done is just for the volume, I've got my um, volumizing scrunchie in under there, which you guys have seen in a previous video, which I'll um, put in the cards. And I've just wrapped a t-shirt material to jersey material uh, on top just to hold it all in place because we're going to need a lot of height for this one. Okay, and wearing all black. <laughs> to kind of recreate the mood um, so I've already got the face makeup done nude lip um, and we're about to do a black purple sort of silvery smoky eye okay so to think to start with we need to lay down a good base so, so we'll do a um, primer any primer will be fine, don't use concealer though, use an actual primer. I feel like if you're going to be doing a lot of smoking out and blending, you don't want something that's going to dry down too quickly, or that's going to give you a very dry, cracky kind of finish, or anything that's oily. So you want something that's sort of powdery when it's dry, and any primer will, well it's supposed to do that really, because you because you want a product that's designed for um, powders. Alright. So it does have a colour to it, not that you can tell on my skin, but it is a creamy colour. Um, heaps of products that do that. That is the Nutribetics Line Filler. But there's MAC Paint Pot that everybody goes on about. I also have Urban Decay Primer, which works just as well for this. Okay, I'm going to start with my favorite brush of the whole universe and I'm gonna go for a matte almost black so looking at it in the pan it's black but I know that there's one shade darker so I'm just gonna assume it's a bit more charcoal okay and with the product facing upwards Gonna go into the crease and add a little bit from the crease and finish up with the sweeping motion. Okay, it's gonna look like a bit of a mess to start with because we are using very pigmented, very dark colors, but the finish will be nice. And same on the other eye. Being careful not to get too much product on the lid, we want to stay on that crease. Okay. Now that they're matching, just wipe off the product off the brush. Okay, and with that same brush, but that's a bit cleaner now, I'm going to go in with a dark silver tone. So I'm going to go for this one. And I'm going to try and blend it down, so with the product facing the lid, circles, putting a slight amount of pressure, just very slight, and just repeat and repeat and repeat until it's really blended down. Okay, so let's do that on the other eye. I'm going to use that same grey, but I'm going to now use a thin brush, okay, like that. And on that brush, I'm going to just give it a bit of a spritz. Come on, there we go, and get it right under the lash line. So 
So I'm creating the wing shape using just powders. Wetting the product with a bit of setting spray or misting spray just allows it to give you much more of a defined line so you're not going to have as much of a wispy sort of smoky with this. That's okay because we're about to blend it out with a lighter grey. Okay, so that's what it's like so far. And then with the, the lighter shade right next to it, still a shimmer and a really big brush. Now, normally I wouldn't use a brush this big um, under my lid, but because we're doing such a smoky look, I'm going for the bigger brush. And same sort of thing, just very lightly. Like that. Swirls. Just be careful with this not to get inside your eye because it is a very big brush for a very small area. Okay. Okay, okay this is where I'm going to introduce a little bit of purple. I'm going to use a fluffy brush like this and go in for a very moody, cool purple, which is just that one there. And the idea here is just to pack it on lightly in the middle of the eye. I'm just going to work it into the corner a little bit just so I can blend it in a minute with that beautiful smokiness that we've got going on there. So we're going to go back to this brush this, without any product on and work it all together. So it should look like that so far. So just taking all that product off the brush, I usually just do so something like that on a paper towel or a, if you use cotton, sometimes you get fibers on the um, bristles or just a clean towel is fine. What we're gonna do now is pick a brow color. Now I'm sticking in with the gray, so I'm just gonna use an almost white gray like that. Not too much. And really smoking out, or blending out, I should say, that heavy black into there. Okay. And if you're worried about fallout or, or anything like that, with when you're creating such a heavy pigmented look, you can put a little bit of tape. Um, but then you would be doing your makeup afterwards. You wouldn't want to put tape on top of foundation and all that sort of stuff. Um, you can use some band-aids or some sports tape, that sort of stuff also works. Um, or you can use some powder. So if you put on a lot of powder there, it'll just protect and then you can just sweep it all off afterwards. But there's another trick which I'll be using today, which I'll show you. Okay. And last but not least, we want to do the inner corner color. So we'll go back to the little brush, there it is, and I'm going to use a really cool product today. It's a gel, eyeshadow. It comes with its own little brush, but it's tiny, so I'm just going to use this one. Really brighten up that corner. Okay. 
pretty cool. And um, marry that up with all that silver that you have. The same thing on the other eye. Okay, that's what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to clean this up now with a little bit of um, concealer. It can be foundation, it doesn't really matter as long as it's a little bit of a cream product. And what I'm going to do is just cover up the area that I had a bit of fallout in. Just there. there. We actually do want. A very smoky look that's fine it's just if there's anything extra that you didn't want in your look because we're using such big brushes and things like that um, to obtain the look you can sometimes get a little bit of this messiness <laughs> and I would strictly use a beauty blender for this a brush will streak and might may even move your powders whereas a, I feel like you get so much better precision here just cleans it right up If you want, you don't. I don't need to, but if you did want, you could go with a powder to set it. But this, this brush is actually clean at the moment. But you know, you can sweep over it if you feel like you need to do a bit of cleaning up. But I think it's just beautiful the way it is. Okay, all that's left now is to do a bit of liner and lashes, and then we'll be all Beyonce up. Okay. So a little bit of mascara. I'm going for a very fine look, so I didn't want to build it up too much. And a very thin winged liner there using the Glide Liquid Eyeliner. Um, just because it was there, any liquid liner would do the trick. Um, or a coal pencil would also look really pretty if you smoke it in a little bit into the eyeshadows. Just finish up with huh, setting spray because we're going to be doing the tickle now and this is the real challenging part <laughs> all right what I might do is I'll split into two parts so watch part two for the tickle <laughs> um, if you're not going to stick around for that just click like and um, subscribe and ring the bell leave a comment um, maybe send me pictures of other looks you'd like me to recreate um, and thank you so much for coming on the journey with me. I'll see you next time or maybe in part two.